Hey guys, I'm Zomb and this is my first video. Um, I'm going to be showing you a TNT cannon I designed. It's a rapid fire TNT cannon, tileable, etc, etc. Um, later I'll be doing a tutorial. Uh, this is actually my first video, so if you can give me some helpful feedback, that would be great. Thanks. It's an easy loadable cannon, so you just... Well, I don't know what to really call it. Um, you just place TNT on the half slab and wool. You can make it go farther by placing more TNT. Whoops. <laughs> of course. Um, about me, I'm a kid who lives in Hawaii. It's quite nice here right now, actually. It's not raining and it's not too hot. Uh, I, I like playing Minecraft and Pokemon. I'll probably be filming only Minecraft, though, since I don't really have an emulator for Pokemon that I trust. So, that was the TNT cannon. Um... I'll show you a short distance burst. You can make this as long as you want to, um, uh, it, like extend it uh, lengthwise uh, as far as the water can go. Like any other TNT cannon, I just made it this short because we're doing this sort of like faction war sort of thing on this server, and the ne the exit that they come out of is right here. So um, I didn't really have a purpose for making it too long. That's just my reasoning behind it. I hope I got the audio audio right. <laughs> yeah, so this is um as short as it can go. Great, now let's switch over to single player. Hey guys, I'm back and I just created a new super flat world to um, to demonstrate the TNT cannon and perhaps a little, um, some other stuff later. And I spawned right here, right outside this guy's porch. Um, I haven't actually found a village in a super flat map yet, maybe because I've only played one super flat map. Um, uh, so I guess is this common? I don't know. Um, if you could tell me in the comments, that would be nice. This is the seed. Oh yeah, and I'm using um 1.2.5 because I'm not a big fan of 1.3. I might use it later. Uh, yep, that's the seed. I can't copy and paste it. Sorry. Um, I might take a snapshot of it. I'm not sure. Um, or I could just put in the video description. So basically, we need well half slab, a uh, block, a uh, basic redstone stuff. Um, button. Water, uh, where's the TNT? There's the TNT. Uh, TNT, I think that's it. I haven't really made a list. This is kind of like ad lib. Um, so, uh, let's get started. So, um, you, you basically make uh, one of these for each row you want. Uh, Place it two apart, actually. I I'm being stupid. Um, place it two apart. And then um, I'm making... Here, I I'll make this four to demonstrate that... It, it, the last one was three. Uh, three... I mean, uh, three primer TNT. I think that's the correct term for the launching TNT. Um, three primer TNT and the projectile. I'll make this one four. You can extend it up to seven because water takes up a block. Yeah, um, torch on each one, spy chicken, yeah, I watched Paul Soros Jr., I, he, he's the one who actually got me into Minecraft, um, 
uh, repeater on each one, no delay. Well, actually, one tick delay on each, technically. But don't change the delay. Um, repeater. This will be your, um, where it goes back up to the button. Uh, block above the torches. I hate slime so much. Block above the torches. Um, I'll just put these spacers in here for now. You actually need these for later, uh, because when I was experimenting while making the TNT cannon, I um, the TNT would affect the next thing that would go off. Like for example, um, this TNT, like the pr this TNT, this primer TNT, and this primer TNT, they would like interact with each other, sort of, like. When I would, when this one would light up, it would explode. But then that'll push this t this um, projectile TNT forward. But it'll also like knock this one sort to the side, and it would go all wonky. Uh, I guess you can have it like that. A couple times it would explode itself. It could be like sort of a spread fire TNT cannon. But um, I'm not really a fan of that. So I just keep it like this. So that. Um This um, little one ledge here, that's where the water is going to go. I'm just putting up these walls so the water doesn't uh, come out. You can make them one high if you want, but um, I don't like falling off, so I'm going to put them too high. Make a little walkway. That's where the projectile TNT is going to go. Here, I'll make it out of um, regular stone so it's easier to see. Uh, what do we need? Uh, water, water. Um, this is basically where the, um, torches are going to go to light the TNT. You, you, you place the TNT on top of this half slab, and then these torches are going to be hooked up to a NOR gate. So the signal is always on until you push the button. So then they'll, like, turn off the torch, and only when you push the button will the torch turn back on. Um, keep that there, because it looks nice. Uh, notice that this is the exact same delay as down there. That uh, you need that. Um, I might work on a more compact design, like or not compact, um, less redstone showing design. Uh, this was kind of just made within a couple of minutes because I really needed a TNT cannon to. Perf uh, to protect my faction home because the faction war was going to start in about 30 minutes. Um, yeah, one, two, three, four. Hmm. Uh, yeah, like I was saying earlier, this is ad lib. <laughs> So this is kind of shaping up to look like the other one. I think the I needed nine full delay repeaters. That's seven. Eight. Now let's just keep it eight just in case. Um, I came up with this design myself, 
somebody else may have also come out with a similar design. I haven't seen any. I haven't looked for any on YouTube yet. I've um, so if if there is any similarities, it's completely coincidental. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Just making sure that the redstone is big uh, is uh, can hold the signal long enough. Um, yeah. So that's it. I think. Let's hope this doesn't blow up itself. So just load the TNT cannon by putting it here. I'll um make uh, a little barrier so you won't fall in later. This is just for looks. Well, no, yeah, basically it's for looks and stuff. It's not essential. You could always just like stand on the side here and struggle to put it in. I like to have it. Um, yeah, I also put lily pads on here later. This is just a basic tutorial. Yeah, it looks like it works. Yep, kill those slimes. Um, <laughs> uh, so if you want to have a sort of make it easier on yourself to use, then um, you could always get uh, lily pads and put it on top of the water. I got th um, I didn't think of this myself. I'm sure other people have done it. Um, I've actually uh, got it from Seth Bling. Uh, I'm a fan of it. Why isn't this one... Oh. Stupid. Um, I got this from Seth Bling while watching his TNT Olympics. He uses lily pads on pretty much all the water in it so you don't fall in. Um, what else? Why did I do that? I'm gonna put a guard rail on it sort of thing now on so um, you don't fall in when you place a TT like you can go infinitely forward and you won't fall in you could just keep like going forward and forward and forward and you won't fall in I've said that twice This guardrail won't really work after a while because you only have a certain reach distance. Actually, I'm I'm pretty sure this exceeds that reach distance. Um, yeah, I'm a genius. Um, so like just I yeah three was the maximum. I, I'm not sure how to do it. This is yeah, awesome. Make it look pretty at least. I don't know, maybe you could put iron bars? I'm not sure. <laughs> I should have really thought this out before I started filming. Um, iron bars. Oh yeah, this is um, OCD, um, uh, the OCD texture pack made by FV Disco. That's not going to work. Um, FV Disco is an amazing redstoner. He's friends with um, Seth Bling and CMB Minecraft. You should check him out. He uh, he he doesn't make videos that often, but when he does, he makes these crazy mini games that I can barely understand. That's not gonna work. Um. Oh well. Just keep it like that, I guess. Yep, TNT cannon and slimes in my redstone. Thank you for watching.